Hello, welcome to the XCPA Newsroom. In the Newsroom, we share with business owners important deadlines that you need to know. Specifically, in the month of January, there are actually a lot of deadlines. The first deadline that you need to know is January the 18th. Your 1040 ES payment voucher number four is due. So what this is about, if you want to understand how to calculate that, you can check out this video, but I will provide some brief explanation. If you have a business and you're profitable, you most likely have taxable income and taxes will be due. If you have not made any payments or if you feel like you need to make additional payment, January 18 is the last time that you will make your payment to avoid any underpayment penalty. The next deadline that I want to talk to you about is the 1099 NEC. And this is a form that you will issue to your independent contractors for them performing services throughout 2021. If you issue them payment of $600 and or above, then you will need to issue a 1099 NEC by January 31st. Other than the 1099 NEC, if you have other vendor payments, and I'm gonna give you some example. If you pay $10 in royalty payments, or you pay at least $600 in rents, prizes, awards, other income payment, medical and healthcare payments, crop insurance proceeds, payments to attorney, any fishing boat proceeds, so on and so forth, then you do have to issue a form called 1099 miscellaneous. This 1099 MISC will have to be filed with the IRS and you need to furnish this copy to the recipients by February the 1st. The last most important portion is of course the payroll reports. If you hire employees or if you pay yourself wages, don't forget that you do need to still file your fourth quarter quarterly report which is the 941 to the IRS and your state unemployment quarterly report. In addition to that, you also need to make sure that you issue your W-2s to your employee by January 31st. You need to make sure that you file the W-3, which is a summary of your W-2s. You also need to file an annual future report, which is 940, that is to remit your federal unemployment taxes to the IRS. We know that all this can be confusing. If you want to know more about payroll reports, please check out this YouTube video that we have developed to explain the different reports and what are they for. If you need help, please reach out to us. We would love to help. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.